and uh, the Christianity side uh, from the Protestants, there's not huge church attendance now. Yeah. So it used yeah. to be to be a Protestant was an important duty was to attend divine service in the yeah. church of Scotland or a Presbyterian church to show that you weren't run from Rome and to show that you didn't believe in an intercessor, i.e. his holiness. Yeah. And the only difference, really, is the perception of the elements, the, 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 the wine and the bread, as uh, the blood and the body of Christ. Yes. So the Protestant believes that they are symbolic, and the Catholic believes that inside you, when you take the elements, the wafer and the wine, they transubstantiate into the body and blood of Christ, oh. and Christ yeah. is within you. Yeah. So yeah. these are small doctrinal differences that do not require any kind of battle or fight between the two. Correct. So it's yes. just a question of saying, well, that's what I believe, and I know that you don't believe that, but you believe that. Mm -hmm. And I can see your point of view, and you can see mine. And then you have a lovely balance. Mm -hmm. And then people started putting it on to football teams, which are really Johnny-come-lately, I mean, when was Celtic created? Was it 1881 or something like that? 1878. My, my grandfather was born in 1881. Right. So he was born at the time when Celtic was a year or two old. Yeah, yeah. You see? And that was started by the priests because the poor boys coming in from Ireland needed to get some kind of recreation so they started a football team. 1888, yeah. says Kevin. Thanks, yeah. Kev. 